my kingfish with um, lime and water and then I use the ground black pepper and I use the seasoned salt it kind of looks like sazoon has like a reddish color so right now I am melting some butter and some onions in a large pot and I'm going to add my kingfish Kingfish. This is, um, I don't know, a fish that's usually sold in like the Caribbean um, Hispanic grocery stores. So it's really hard to find and you gotta be careful because sometimes if the, the fish is freezer burn, it does not taste good. So I found this in my mom's freezer. Hopefully they turn out good. I'm just gonna add seasoned sauce to the pot. I'm going to let this simmer for a little bit and I'm going to add some water to it. And that's it. This should be a pretty easy recipe. Alright guys, uh, so I gently flipped over my kingfish. I'm going to add some water. You want to add enough water to cover the fish. So I'm just going to add a little bit more and then I'm going to just let it simmer because fish doesn't really take that long to cook. So as you can see, the butter and the sauce, I think I'm gonna um, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in here. So it's gonna be like, um, like a butter sauce with a little tang to it. And I might add a little bit of salt as well, just to make sure that we have enough flavor in our sauce. And we're gonna see how this turns out. All right guys, so I got one whole lemon here. I'm gonna just, um, just cut it in half and I am going to add this to my pot. Now we're just adding the juice from half of our lemon. Guys, look at all that steam coming from the pot. It's really smelling good. Ooh, it's I think I could put it to simmer right now. So at this point, I'm gonna just put my um, stove on a low heat. This is an electric stove. I hate cooking with electric stove. Um, there's a lot of fish residue. Kind of like when you're cooking chicken, I guess like the fat from it. Um, hopefully this comes out good, I'm hoping. Um, so right now, I'm just gonna put it on a low heat. I'll let it simmer. I'm gonna taste the sauce to make sure it has enough seasoning in it. And I think this is it for our kingfish in butter sauce. You just wanna get a little bit of the sauce. And you wanna test it out. Make sure that it has enough flavor for your, you know, provisions or rice or whatever side dish you plan to eat with your kingfish. I'm gonna take it over to the sink. It's seasoned very well. Um, actually, I'm very surprised. I could taste the lemon juice. It's really good. Um, All right, guys. So I just broke off a small piece of the fish, and I just want to test it out, make sure that it's cooked well. It looks like it's cooked well. I mean, because these are like the steaks. I like, I like the steak cut. I like when kingfish, I just love kingfish. I'm gonna test it out. It is not bad. It's actually really good. My brother is gonna be impressed with my um, kingfish today. I'm gonna turn off the heat. I think this took about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I think it, it took about 20 minutes. All right guys, this is my uh, final dish, my kingfish. I don't have any sides. My brother is eating it. He brought some um, sides that he got from, where you got it from? Tease restaurant. Tease restaurant, okay. Yeah. He brought some white rice and beans and some stuff in. 
which I don't think goes right with my fish. But he's eating it. How the fish taste? It's good. Okay, so it tastes good. So that's my recipe on how to make kingfish. I've never made kingfish before, um, but I think it's it's always easy to make something in a butter sauce because that's like a real simple, um, butter is not good for you, but it's just a really simple way of making a gravy. So comment down below and let me know, um, share your recipes um, that you have with kingfish. I try looking up some recipes I was gonna fry them, but I really didn't want to go through all the work and hassle of frying them. And um, maybe do it in like a tomato-based ketchup um, sauce with some onions. That's a, another another easy alternative. Fry the kingfish and then make like a tomato a tomato-based sauce. Um, but like I said, um, it's hard to find kingfish in the U.S. We are in the U.S. Virgin Islands, but. Um, I did buy kingfish a long time ago, and I really believe that they was stale or, I don't know, they were freezer burned because they did not taste good when I cook them. They actually was really rubbery. Thank you guys for watching. And um, I know I haven't posted videos in a long time, but I'm going to try and um, clean up my backlog of videos and post them as soon as possible.